You want to know what I love most about woody candles? They all have some form of rich, warm elegance to them. Notes like cedar and sandalwood, even patchouli and vetiver has a wide range of different roles they can play when it comes to making a fantastic scent. A fantastic woody scent. And that's what we'll be talking about today, a few of some great woody candles from my collection that I've been enjoying lately with this cool weather. Hey what's up? I'm Rakima. Welcome to Detailed Dream, where the primary focus is to expose you to the expansive world of luxury goods for yourself and your home. Speaking metaphorically, you'll sometimes come across woody scents as dressed up with bright notes to create a more vibrant twist on a woody scent. For example, these are candles with citrus or florals found in the top or mid notes to give that woody scent more color. And on the other hand, you can dress them down with heavier notes to create a deep, intoxicating woody candle scent. These will be candles with a heavy emphasis on only utilizing woody based notes throughout the entire scent. These are, of course, some basic examples. But no matter what notes are being used, a great woody candle should always give you either a rich, warm, or elegant feeling. I should also mention that there is also the category of smoky, woody campfire scents. We won't be getting into those type of scents today since I feel like they deserve their own curated list. Let me know if you're a fan of campfire scents and I'll put a list together of my favorites as we get into the winter season. I can't even believe we're down to the last two months of the year. Mind baffling. Anyways, these candles are in no particular order, just some great woody candles that I've been enjoying. They all provide their own take on what a woody scent is. I also wanted to make sure that there is some variety on this list for my people who enjoy a more bright woody candle and for my people who prefer deeper, richer woody candles. There is something for everyone. The first candle I want to mention is the Teakwood and Tobacco scent coming from PF Candle Co. Every time I talk about PF, it feels like I'm talking about my own brand, if I had one. It's a brand I really feel at home with simply because they make some of the best all around everyday candles. I think I have a full collection of every scent and experienced every single one of them and every time I make my way back around to Teakwood and Tobacco. And it has been this way since the very first time I ever bought a PF candle. Teakwood and Tobacco was classified as the boyfriend scent that's rich, warm, inviting, and a little masculine. This isn't a complex scent at all. Just simple, straight to the point notes of leather, teak wood with a little orange and tobacco, but it's not apparently noticeable to the point that makes this a vibrant woody scent. The focus of this candle lies within the teak wood and tobacco, an incredible candle that you can burn daily. If you have any experience with PF Candle Gold, then you know these candles are subtle performers, which makes them great for everyday burning, or if you don't prefer stronger candles, these are perfect for you. This is the large 12 and a half ounce size, which performs a little better than the standard sizes. And since the width of the vessel is larger, it takes a little longer for the top layer of the wax to pull out, equaling to the scent having a little more time to throw. It's a soy wax that takes about two to three hours to pull out. And the wax burns even every single time without the use of aluminum foil. The cold and hot throw is subtle, as we discussed. Perfect for small to medium sized rooms. Something I like to do is burn a couple at a time to fill out the room a little better. So I may have this large size burning on my coffee table and another burning across the room on my desk. I found that to be perfect for the size of my space. I also pair teakwood and tobacco with different scents for a more unique burning experience. I love a good PF candle. Oh, and the large 12 and a half ounce sizes are $34 and has a burn time up to 70 hours. Their standard 7.5 ounce sizes are $24 and burns up to 50 hours. Amazing clean burning candles. I can't say enough great things about PF Candle Co. They've been with me from the start and they are huge supporters of the channel. And I will always keep a few warm teakwood and tobacco candles in the collection. It feels like I haven't talked about boy smells in quite some time on the channel. I know a few conversations back I mentioned I picked up the new Grace Jones scent, but lately I've been reaching for the opulent, luxurious, warming scent of Cashmere Kush. This is pure elegance in the vessel with prominent notes of powdery musk, cashmere woods, vetiver, white amber, tulip, and geranium leaf. This is quite a beautiful woody scent coming from boy smells, with some botanical notes that makes this scent a little more vibrant. Something I've been trying to wrap my head around is when I initially smell this candle. It comes off as something that wants to be bright and elegant, especially with the noticeable powdery musk. But when I burn it, it sort of changes its personality to all of a sudden wanting to be this deep, alluring scent that's also elegant at the same time. While burning, you get more of the prominent notes of that powdery musk and cashmere wood that makes this an enticing candle. 
Think of relaxing in a nice warm bath with the finest bath oils, forgetting about the outside world. That's what I picture when this is burning. The performance of the cold and hot throw is subtle. You pick up the powdery musk almost instantly from the cold throw. But like I just said, while this is burning, the hot throw gives off this deep elegance that I love about this scent. The hot throw is subtle, but after about an hour or so, the scent fills a medium sized space nicely. I think this would be best in an enclosed space like a bedroom or a bathroom. Like relaxing in a warm bath, or relaxing in your room when the bed is way too comfortable to leave. And if you want stronger performance, you know, more of that fragrant burn, you can also opt for the magnum size that comes with three wicks, so expect very strong performance from that. I really have to bring more boy smells to the channel because I've enjoyed pretty much every scent I've purchased from them. Lord of Seraphine is another staple brand in my collection. A couple weeks ago, I lit the Monroe scent for the first time and got a little upset that I didn't burn it sooner. This is more of a cozy, creamy, woody scent with notes of sandalwood, rich vanilla, and warm amber. As you would assume, the creaminess you get from this candle comes from the vanilla. And I appreciate that it wasn't overdone. It's just the right amount to still have that woody nuance with the sound of wood and resinous amber for added warmth. This is a candle that both masculine and feminine scent lovers will enjoy. The scent reminds me of taking walks during the late fall season with the leaves falling from the trees. I always enjoyed the designs of Lord of Seraphine candle vessels. If you're familiar with the brand, you'll know a Lord of Seraphine vessel when you see one. The designs make the candle stand out a lot more than other candles. The coloring and the pattern of the Monroe vessel is sort of like a description of the scent characteristic. To me, it has a warm, inviting look to it that says a lot about the scent. As for performance, it's on par with other Lord of Seraphine scents I've experienced. The cold throw is going to be subtle with the cozy smell of sandalwood, and the hot throw is moderate as well that unfolds the scent into a beautiful warmth that also has depth. The sandalwood is incredible in this candle. I believe the focus of Lord of Seraphine isn't to make the strongest candle, but to make candles that activates those good memories that helps you enjoy the candle more. And the vessel design is something that you wouldn't mind having out of your home as a decor piece. This is their medium six and a half ounce size candle and has about a 45 hour burn time. And their large size is 17 ounces with a 80 hour burn time. For my people who prefer stronger performance, the Monroe candle is definitely for someone who's looking for a woody scent with a cozy, creamy undertone. Still warm and just a little creamy. This next woody scent comes from Maison Louis Marie. I recently added the number four scent to the collection and yes, it's as good as many of you told me it'll be. When it comes to woody scents, this scent has a deep earthiness to it. One of the most prominent woody notes I've experienced. From the top notes, you'll smell the noticeable woody essence of sandalwood and cedarwood. You'll normally find those notes in the base of a scent, so it's nice to see the change by making them the first notes that you'll smell. The mid notes consist of an earthy vetiver, nutmeg, and cinnamon, with the warm base note of amber wood. This scent definitely has depth to it with an assortment of different types of woods. I read that the cinnamon and nutmeg in this is supposed to be on the spicy side, but to be honest, I'm not picking up either of those notes or anything spicy really. I'm sure they play a role in how the scent smells, but I'm not picking up cinnamon or nutmeg. If you have this scent, let me know what you think. Are you getting anything spicy from it? Maybe it's just difficult for me to pinpoint it because the other notes are so prominent. Nonetheless, Maison Laurie Marie, you developed an incredible woody scent. Think of a luxury five-star hotel. What do you picture when you think of your ideal luxury hotel room? How's the view? That's what number four smells like. It has that same warm, luxurious feeling to it. Now, the performance of the cold throw is subtle. When you do get a whiff of it, you pick up the dominant wood notes of cedar and sandalwood. The hot throw is, I would say, is a soft strong. Let's say it's six out of 10, depending on the room size. This will perform great in a small to medium sized space. The hot throw is when you get the full development of the scent. Just personally for me, without the cinnamon and nutmeg. It's a strong essence of luxury wood, that's the best way to describe this. I'm overall impressed by this scent and the clean, minimal brand identity. You might be seeing more Maison Laurie Marie coming to the channel. This next candle is one so many of you enjoy when I reviewed it. It's the Ebony Wood candle from the Zara and Joe Loves collab. This is still an incredible woody scent that I enjoy. And before I forget, at the time of this recording, this candle is currently on sale for only $10. Definitely worth the try if you're interested in getting into luxury candles. There's a sensuality to the ebony wood scent with notes of pink pepper, clove, and ebony wood. This is a warm, woody candle that sometimes can come off as a slightly sweet woody scent. I'm not picking up any pink pepper though. I'm not sure how big a role it plays in this, but if it's supposed to have a peppery characteristic, 
I'm not picking it up in this. Let me know if that's not the case if you have this scent. All I'm getting is the ebony wood and clove that makes this come off as a slightly sweet wood. Still an incredible woody scent that I love burning, which is why I'm talking about it again. As for the performance, you pick up that sweet woodiness from the cold throw. The scent doesn't throw as good as others, but at this price point, I'm not complaining. The hot throw is moderate and performs okay in a medium sized room. For a candle under $20, I have to say, it does a pretty decent job. Don't expect the performance to be mind blowing. This is just your great woody candle that you can reach for if you want something to burn daily. I'll be getting some good use out of this candle over the winter months. I'll more than likely finish this out by the end of the year and that's why I bought a restock. I'll make sure to link the review in the description if you want to know more about the Ebony Wood scent and the other two scents I have from this collab. I talked highly of the Joe Loves collab with Zara and I still feel the same way about it. There are top tier candle brands that provides just another level of a luxury burning experience like Citrudon candles. Ernesto was one of the absolute best woody candles I've ever experienced. It was also one of the first Trudana candles I picked up and years later, it still serves as one of my favorite woody scents. The scent of Ernesto or any other Trudana candle for that matter, isn't like your traditional candles. They provide another level of sophistication to the burning experience. You can tell that there is a rich history with the candles and the brand. I mean, they started in 1643, so their heritage, it's there for sure. It doesn't make a brand top tier because they started so early, but Trudon stood the test of time for a reason. There isn't anything quite like your first Trudon, and Ernesto is a great scent to start with, it's like a Trudon staple in my opinion. From the top notes, Ernesto opens with bright bergamot, grapefruit, and delicious rum, but is quickly overtaken by the heart and base notes. The heart consists of oak wood, clove, labdanum, and patchouli, with a deep, warm base of tobacco, amber, leather, and moss. Definitely a more unique scent profile. With the scent this dense, I don't really pick up those bright top citrus notes. The heart and base notes is what we're here for. This is a very grounding, deep, warm scent, especially when it's burning. There's a traditional feel to the scent that makes my space feel more comforting and inviting. Absolutely beautiful. And don't even get me started on a performance. The cold throw won't fill up a room, but it's very noticeable when you're close by or walking past it. That captivating woody scent hits you for a split second to make you look and see if it's burning or not. It happened to me the other day when I forgot I still had it sitting out. I walked past and the scent caught me off guard and I was reminded why I love this scent so much. Ernesto is a scent that wants to stand out and you can definitely notice it from the house because of how strong it is. I mean, for this price point, I expect exceptional performance. This is great for medium to large size spaces, even some medium sized open concepts. And if you need to fill an entire apartment or one story of a home, there is an intermezzo size, which I classify as a very large candle. And if you're brave enough, then go ahead and try the great size. That one is extremely large. And of course, you better believe you'll be paying premium gas prices for those sizes. <laughs> but you all know how I feel about Trudon candles. They're definitely worth it. Ernesto will continue to be a go-to for an added, incredible, warm, woody feel to my space. This last woody candle I want to talk about is more like an honorable mention because I just made an entire review on it and it's the Oud Wood candle from Tom Ford. Now, I mentioned that it's not worth the price in that conversation and it's still not worth the price, but I do believe that this is a great woody scent to try if you're into Tom Ford fragrances or you just want that masculine feeling for your space. Some people also aren't into niche candle scents and that's perfectly okay. A woody scent like Oud Wood would make an incredible option for my people who prefer not to venture off too far into the candle world. Oud Wood is full of warmth with notes of Oud, of course, <laughs> sandalwood, rosewood, and amber. If you're familiar with Oud Wood as a fragrance, this is spot on to that. If you don't have the fragrance, I would recommend going to the store to see if they have this candle on display so you can smell the cold throw. And if not, just sample the fragrance and you'll know how this candle will smell. I always recommend smelling before buying. It saves me so many times. And plus, you just get to get out and smell other things that you wouldn't have come across otherwise. And that's how I picked up this scent. I paid the Tom Ford price, unfortunately, but so many of you wanted to know more about what a Tom Ford candle can offer. With the performance on this, my stance stays the same. The cold throw, it's moderate. You will get sudden whiffs if you're close by it. And the hot throw is moderate to a light strong. The scent comes to life when it's burning. You really get to smell the warm, woody characteristics of the scent. I appreciate this candle a lot, even though I have my disagreements with it. 
please get this candle on sale if you can. I have the full review of this candle linked in the description if you want to know more about it. I have a couple questions for you. What are your thoughts on woody candles? Do you feel woody notes are the foundation to make a great scent? I'm asking because I noticed if a scent isn't fully botanical, herbaceous, gourmand, etc. It contains some form of woody note. Take a look at the scent profiles of the fragrances and candles that you have and let me know your thoughts.